So the, there are two little sparks to this story. So the first one was I was on a book tour with two other authors and each time we stopped at a little uh, strip of shops, the other author was looking desperately looking for accessories to wear uh, to a school trivia night. So she was going to dress up as Audrey Hepburn. Her, she was a, the whole table of other parents, all the women had decided to dress as Audrey. So it stayed in my in my head, this idea of her dressed as Audrey. Uh, and then I thought, imagine if all the men had decided to dress as Elvis Presley. And so I, that was just seemed like such a good image to me, the idea of all the Audreys and all the Elvises. And then I imagined if there was some sort of big argument. And then I had to go back in time to think of, okay, what caused caused this um, or the conflict and then I was actually with another girlfriend another uh, school mother and she was telling me about how uh, she as some friends of hers uh, the little girl had started kindergarten and it was the very first day of kindergarten and when they came out of the classroom two little girls had bite marks on their arms and the little girl said uh, a boy some boy had bitten them and then because of course they didn't they'd only just started kindergarten nobody knew anybody's um, name so they got them all to line up and I just loved the idea of this the lineup of all the poor little children lined up to to see who was the guilty one and all the parents watching and the you know the mothers thinking I hope it's not my child who did the biting Every day you can turn on the computer and there's new social media links to don't do this to your children, you know, 10 things you can do to ruin your children's life forever. Uh, it's ridiculous. And yes, it's, so it's it's completely, um, and my, my mother just finds it hilarious, you know, some of the things that we all get so obsessed about. So yes, it's a funny new world. And you know, all of us, we laugh at it, but we it's really hard to separate yourself from it. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You know, we can't all turn off our computers. We, can, we want this information and we do want to do the best for your children. As a copywriter, nobody ever actually wants to read your copy. So every word has to work. And also you always have the art directors. The art directors don't want any copy at all and they're precious ads. So, you know, less words, less words uh, when you're doing print advertising. So I think I was just really trained to write really punchy advertising. So maybe that's why I've ended up as a commercial fiction writer with just writing good stories with page turners, I guess, because I was trained to, to write copy that people would read when they didn't want to read it. People seem to like that I took a darker turn than in my previous novels. I did have, I had one American male reader actually write to me and say, what happened to you? You used to be so funny. Uh, <laughs> and he said, I hope nothing bad happened in your life. And then, and then he said, I hope you perk up soon. Uh, but I think readers did seem to appreciate that I still had the the relationships and the strong characters and all that sort of thing, but with a little bit more suspense than in my previous novels.